Good morning to you. I want to share a, a little bit of personal information with you as we get started today. You know, our church staff, we've been working at home the last couple of weeks, and we have been doing school at home in our household as well. I have a middle schooler and a high schooler who are doing school at home, and so it's it's sort of a busy household for us, and I know sometimes as I record some devotional videos for you, you can hear some background noises of our family. Um, I, I know that sometimes you hear the pitter-patter of little puppy dog feet as well as they run through the room while I am recording a video. We have two dogs. We have a six-year-old dog named Jake. And when we realized we were going to be home for uh, an extended period of time, we decided about a month ago to go ahead and adopt a new little puppy. And so I have with me on my lap here Baxter, who has just been um, as fun as he can be to have around, but he has added a little bit more to our household these last couple of weeks. So he's going to sit here with me while I share with you today. I wanted to share a couple of verses from the Gospel of John. And in in John's Gospel, we have his account of Jesus revealing himself to the disciples for the first time. And in this passage of John, it's in chapter 20, the first words that Jesus says to his disciples are, peace be with you. Jesus doesn't focus on himself or his own experiences. He focuses on the disciples. He wants the disciples to experience peace. And that's what we need to experience too. That's what we want to hear. If we could hear words right from Jesus, those are the words we would want to hear. Peace be with you. And after Jesus shares those words, he adds a little bit of an action plan for the disciples. He says that they are to forgive others, that they will find forgiveness in their own hearts, and that they will be able to experience peace more fully if they are able to find forgiveness in their hearts. That's a great action plan for us as well. We are to find uh, forgiveness for others. And so I want you to give that some thought today. Is there someone that you need to, within your heart, forgive? Because we can find a greater sense of peace with God when we are able to find forgiveness in our hearts. That was the action plan that Jesus set forth for the disciples. That's the action plan that Jesus gives us for today. And um, oh, how beautiful it is to experience God's peace in our lives. Oh, how much do we need to experience that peace in our lives right now? So find some quiet time today to just reflect on those words. Um, imagine Jesus speaking those words right to you. Peace be with you. I hope you have a great day today and know that I am praying just that for you, that God's peace would be with you.